Want to earn some extra money online? Starting a YouTube channel could be a great way to do it, but there's a catch. Choosing the right topic for your channel can be tricky, especially if you're thinking about automating things. But don't worry, today I've got your back. I'll share some helpful tips to help you avoid common mistakes when picking a niche for your automated YouTube channel. By the end of this video, you'll know which topics to avoid, saving you time, money, and frustration. The first niche you should definitely avoid is compilation videos. These are when you gather different clips, put them together, and upload them to YouTube. You might think, what's wrong with that? Well, there are a few issues. Compilations often lack originality and might not meet YouTube's fair use standards, which could lead to copyright issues and limited monetization. It's best to steer clear and focus on creating original content instead. Fortunately, there are ways to create compilation videos responsibly without infringing on copyrights. One approach is to seek permission from the original clip owners before using their content and compilations. Channels like Daily Dose of Internet employ this method, often receiving submissions from content creators eager for exposure. Additionally, you can create compilations using your own videos. For instance, I've produced several videos discussing different aspects of monetization on YouTube. By combining these into a comprehensive tutorial, I offer unique value while avoiding copyright issues, as I own the content. The second niche to avoid on YouTube, especially for faceless channels, is meditation or relaxation videos. You might be wondering, what about that? The reason is that most creators approach meditation videos in the wrong manner. Many people simply download music from the YouTube audio library, pair it with royalty-free visuals from platforms like pixabay.com, and label it as meditation or relaxation content. However, this approach lacks the originality that YouTube favors. Consequently, many of these channels struggle to get monetized or face demonetization. If you're considering creating meditation or relaxation videos, ensure you do it properly. It's straightforward. Include a human voiceover guiding meditation or affirmations throughout the video. Alternatively, if you're using instrumental music, ensure you either commission it from platforms like Upwork or Fiverr, thereby owning the rights or create it yourself. While there are numerous meditation and relaxation channels achieving success with millions of views and substantial earnings, it's crucial to adhere to the right approach. The third niche to steer clear of is motivational content. You've likely encountered motivational videos featuring speeches from famous figures, garnering significant views. However, these videos often run into the same fair use issues we discussed earlier. Simply reusing clips from other motivational speeches without transformative elements, such as original commentary or visuals, may not meet fair use standards. To produce motivational content effectively and potentially earn long-term income, it's essential to add your unique perspective. Rather than relying solely on borrowed content, craft your message in your own words. Channels like Brainy Do exemplify this approach, presenting motivational content with an original voiceover and perspective. By infusing your content with originality and authenticity, you can create a more engaging and legally sound channel. The fourth niche to avoid for faceless YouTube content is kids' channels. Now, what's the issue with kids' channels? They attract tons of views on YouTube. However, the challenge lies in the fact that kids' channels typically generate a minimal amount of revenue per thousand views. This is largely due to YouTube's implementation of COPPA, which stands for the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Essentially, COPPA dictates that advertisers cannot target ads to children. Consequently, the CPM's costs per thousand views for kids' content are significantly lower compared to content aimed at older audiences. Children, according to my understanding, are defined as individuals age 13 or younger. When uploading content, you must specify whether it's intended for kids or not. Incorrect labeling can have repercussions, as YouTube has mechanisms in place to review and enforce these guidelines. While it's possible to monetize kids' content, the earnings potential is limited compared to other content genres. Therefore, I do not recommend pursuing kids' channels unless they align with your passion and purpose. The fifth niche to avoid on YouTube for faceless niche channels is non-advertiser-safe content. While this might seem like a broad category, it becomes clear once you understand what advertisers prefer to associate their ads with. Advertisers have the option to choose between two types of inventory when placing ads on YouTube videos, limited inventory standard and expanded inventory. The majority of advertisers opt for the limited inventory, which consists of videos deemed safe for advertising. On the other hand, the expanded inventory includes videos that may feature swearing or other content advertisers consider unsuitable for their brand image. 
To ensure your content falls within the advertiser-friendly category, it's crucial to avoid elements that advertisers typically avoid. This includes refraining from swearing, violence, or any other content that could be perceived as non-advertiser safe. Put yourself in the shoes of a brand considering placing an ad on your content. Would you want your brand associated with this type of content? While you're free to create content as you wish, it's important to understand that non-advertiser safe content may limit your revenue potential. Therefore, if maximizing your earnings is a priority, it's advisable to steer clear of such content. The sixth niche to avoid is AI content. I know you're wondering, hasn't AI improved significantly in recent years? Why not use robot voices or AI video generation tools? The reason lies in the inconsistency of these tools. While some AI tools produce high quality results, many others fall short. For instance, certain robot voiceover tools lack the naturalness required for engaging content. However, there are exceptions. Platforms like Eleven Labs offer text-to-speech voiceover capabilities that closely resemble human speech. These platforms produce results that are nearly indistinguishable from recordings made by humans. On the other hand, technologies like deep fake videos, which manipulate someone else's likeness, pose significant risks. YouTube is increasingly vigilant about such content, implementing measures to identify videos that utilize others' likenesses without permission. When uploading videos, YouTube may require creators to specify whether they're using someone else's likeness. Failure to do so could result in disclaimers being added to the video, or even its removal at the request of the individual whose likeness was used. Therefore, unless creating content for parody purposes with explicit permission, it's advisable to avoid utilizing others' likenesses. YouTube may reconsider such cases if they fall within acceptable parameters. Niche number seven, to avoid on YouTube for automation channels is music or lyric videos. This one's pretty self-explanatory. If you re-upload music on YouTube, it'll likely get flagged under YouTube's copyright system, and you probably won't be able to make any money from it. When a video is claimed, the revenue typically goes to the person who claimed it, often the owner of the music. This applies not only to music, but also to lyric videos, or any video containing copyrighted music without permission. If you ever use music in your video, consider using the YouTube Audio Library, which offers tons of free music. Alternatively, if you run a music-specific channel, ensure that you either create the music yourself or pay someone from platforms like Upwork to make the music for you, securing full rights to use it. Niche number eight to avoid is gaming content. Considering the immense popularity of gaming channels on YouTube, the gaming space is incredibly crowded, with thousands of channels focusing on individual games. Unless you're offering something unique or standing out from the crowd, there are likely better niches to explore. That's not to say that new gaming channels can't succeed, but they often do so by providing distinct value or unique content. If you're interested in starting a gaming channel, ensure you do it the right way. While gaming content can be lucrative, it's essential to note that not all games allow unrestricted use on YouTube. Some require explicit permission from the game developer and others have copyright restrictions. Always verify a game's copyright status and ensure you have permission before uploading content. Additionally, affiliate marketing opportunities within the gaming niche may be limited. This video isn't to discourage exploration of these niches entirely. There's potential in many of them. However, if you're aiming to maximize earnings with faceless YouTube channels, consider focusing on niches such as finance, fitness, diet, technology, and travel. Thanks for joining today's discussion on finding profitable niches for your YouTube channel. I hope you got some valuable insights to help you on your content creation journey. Remember, being successful on YouTube isn't just about uploading videos. It's about making smart choices and finding the right niche for your audience. Whether you're into finance, fitness, or tech, always focus on giving value to your viewers. If you have any questions or ideas for future topics, drop them in the comments below. Your feedback is super important to me as I want to create content that empowers and inspires creators like you. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep aiming for greatness. Catch you in the next video. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel with notification turned on so you don't miss out on any new content. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.